Stoke City return to Championship action this afternoon as we host Cardiff City, where after a month-long break for the World Cup, of course, the form book is largely out the window. As we saw in the early kickoff, Preston absolutely smashing promotion chasing Blackburn Rovers, so the form book is out the window. It seems like an absolute age since that defeat at West Brom almost a month ago now. We've now had a month's break, we've had a mid-season training camp and a couple of friendlies as well. We've picked up some good results and some good performances as well. Hopefully that sort of can make its way through into the league campaign because well, it's unlikely we're going to get the playoffs. Um, bar some miracle, we'd have to win almost every game to get there. We're only eight points off it, however, which, yeah, we're not at the halfway point of the season. Teams have bridged bigger gaps, but I don't know. It seems like quite a challenging race to get up there this year, but never say never. Both teams sort of down towards the bottom end of the table. Both shouldn't really be where they are. Cardiff had a really impressive summer transfer window. They brought in some good players. Without further ado, let's get into the ground and try and get a little bit warm because it I don't know if you can tell it's absolutely freezing here but yeah without further ado let's get into the ground come on Stoke Team News is in two changes from West Brom Harry Soutart comes back after his impressive spell with the Australia team in the World Cup. I did a video on that in the week, so if you want to check that out, that'll be in the description. And Tariq Fosu comes back in on the left wing. Really excited to see him. It looks like looks to be a 4-3-3. Fosu on that left wing, really, really exciting. Hopefully we can get Timon and Clark going forwards as well. Baker and Thompson in midfield, which I like. Hopefully Smallbone can rekindle some of that form he showed in his early Stoke career. Score prediction, I'm going to go 2-1 Stoke. I reckon Liam Delap will get one and Tariq Foster will get the other. Come on! Thank you. 
So it's 2 1 to Stoke at the break from behind. It was a disastrous start as Ryan Wintle gave the Bluebirds the lead very, very early on. But we were quick to turn that around with Tyrese Campbell. Really nice ball from Josh Simon, very similar to Lionel Messi's assist in the Argentina game last night. Great finish though from Campbell to level the tie. Liam Delap was there to gobble it up after a deflected shot from Campbell fell to his feet. Overall, very, very slow start, but we've grown into the game a lot. Probably should have had a couple of penalties. We should have definitely had one, as uh, Liam Delac was brought down a handful of times in the box. Full-time prediction, I think we've got enough to get another, and we've got enough to keep him out. So, I'll go 3-1 Stoke. But yeah, the game's still firmly in the balance at the moment. Could go either way, but I, I'm 90% sure that we'll be able to hold on if we get another one. Come on. nothing with it and then Cardiff race up the other end within a series of passes Robinson's put it in the back of the net from Cardiff yes again ball played across the box dropped by Bonham almost followed in 64 minutes in from Cardiff all squared looking for Robinson excellent Harry Clark there and the ball away this is Blue Wintle now he's going to dink it forward again and it's another great save from uh, Jack Bonham Keep the game square. <laughs> Campbell is going to try and dance through a couple of Cardiff men, one being Remain Sawyers, who completely backed out of that challenge. Thompson didn't back out of that one on uh, Callum Robinson. He's still not. Ties it forward to Fossu on the left side. He's going to try and take it into the box. He has done, he's gone outside just a little bit too much. Good options in the middle of uh, Jacob Brown and Will Smallbone in there. From Clark to find Powell. Powell heads it down to Campbell. Back to Powell. And back to Clark on the edge of He's going to fire one in low. He's going to force to Campbell. Close range. Just like itself out for a corner. 73 minutes in. Good for the game, you fool. Really smart play there from Harry Clark to go and win a corner. The Cardiff goalkeeper doesn't want to give us the ball. He's got a book in now anyway. But yeah. Cardiff, I think they'll take a point from this, whereas we want the three. It's going to be another top in the swing. Get. Can we find a winner? No. Played by Cardiff. Powell's going to try and conjure something up and get the ball into the middle. He's giving it to time and time. Looping delivery into Harry Clark at the back stick. As Colwell forces it out for a throw in. One last chance perhaps. Thompson pings in a free kick. Small bone down on the plane. 
Robinson takes a couple of touches inside. He's going to dispatch a shot blocked by Wilmot. It's going to be a late corner. corner. No, it, no, it isn't. Got away with one there. Two all draw. What have they got to learn about? They've had his two clear penalties. Full time to all. An uninspiring point, I'd probably say that. You're very much scraping the barrel to justify a point like that. We're saying it was better than West Brom a month ago. I thought the second goal for Cardiff was really poor how it happened. From us having the ball 20, 15, 20 seconds earlier, almost in our box, to then putting it in the back of the net, it was really poor. They broke at us and we didn't look like we knew what we could do. I think it comes down to decision making a little bit at times, especially defensively. Jack Bonham got us out of jail a lot. I think both sides will be thinking probably could have come away with that one with three points, you know, if we got the penalties in the first half and if Cardiff put one of them a little bit further tucked inside the post. I thought Campbell was bright today, but I thought overall for everyone it was a, a largely uninspiring performance. Hopefully it improves for Bristol City next week because uh, they're a side that certainly can punish you. Definitely could be a tough afternoon. But yeah, hope you all have enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Go on, Stoke.